Grown social distancing in the classroom. You know it's hard enough. And now try doing that when you're packing kids onto a school bus and still trying to follow CDC guidelines. Well, ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon getting to the bottom line on this one today for us. And she found out that Polk County Schools simply won't be able to pull that off. So here's what they're doing instead. There's really no way to to social distance on a on a school bus. CDC guidelines call for one student per seat in every other row. We did the, the math and, it, and that's 13 um, students. So uh, it would take all day to get uh, students to school. And by the time we got them there, it would be time to turn around and take them home. Instead, Polk County Schools will be sitting two children in each seat in every row. They will be requiring each rider to wear a mask. If they don't, they'll need a doctor's note. Buses will also be deep cleaned. Handrails, the top of the seats, the back of the seat. Training already underway for drivers and attendants on how to properly sanitize. The transportation department also says everyone's temperature will be taken before getting on the bus. 100 degrees or higher and they cannot ride. We want our parents to know that we are making all the arrange, anything that we can do, any arrangements and all the protocols that we need to make to keep the children safe on the bus. Ventilation will also play a role with windows down and top hatches open. Students will be loaded from the back and seated according to their stops. We want to make sure that our employees are safe and 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 most importantly our students are as safe as possible. Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News.